Ever pondered on the mysterious and spiritual world of Gnosticism? Gnosticism, a spiritual movement that flourished in the second century, has been a topic of intrigue and mystery. Originating as a heretical branch of Christianity, it proposed a unique esoteric understanding of the divine. A major branch of this movement is Valentinian Gnosticism, named after its founder Valentinus. It's known for its elaborate and symbolic mythology. So ready to unravel the mysteries? Let's delve deeper into the intriguing realm of Valentinian Gnosticism. A Valentinian Gnosticism, an offshoot of Gnosticism, emerged in the second century AD. This intriguing branch of Gnosticism was named after its founder, Valentinus, a learned theologian and charismatic leader who was born in Egypt. Valentinus moved to Rome around the middle of the second century and his teachings quickly gained traction, leading to the rise of Valentinian Gnosticism. The fundamental beliefs of this branch of Gnosticism were deeply rooted in the exploration of the divine. Valentinian Gnosticism proposed a complex cosmology revolving around the concept of a supreme god, an unknowable divine entity. This branch of Gnosticism also placed great emphasis on Gnosis, the knowledge of spiritual mysteries, as a means to achieve salvation. Valentinians believed that the material world was flawed and that spiritual enlightenment was the pathway to transcend these imperfections. Valentinus and his followers constructed a complex theology. Now let's unravel the mythology of Valentinian Gnosticism. The mythology of Valentinian Gnosticism, a grand cosmic narrative, is truly mesmerizing. To understand this elaborate mythology, we must first delve into the concept of the pleroma, the fullness. Imagine a realm beyond our physical existence, a celestial sphere brimming with divine energy and spiritual entities. This is the pleroma, the spiritual universe in Valentinian Gnosticism, the antithesis of our mundane world. Within this divine fullness, emanations of the supreme being, known as eons, come into existence. These eons are not gods in the traditional sense, but expressions of divine attributes, facets of the supreme being's persona. Each eon, while distinct, remains a part of the whole, contributing to the divine fullness. The first of these eons, according to Valentinian Gnosticism, were depth and silence. From their union, more eons were birthed, creating pairs that represented divine aspects such as truth, word, life, and man. Together they formed a divine chorus, a symphony of spiritual beings, each playing a part in the harmonious existence of the Pleroma. But the eons were not merely passive spectators in this divine drama. They yearned to comprehend the unknowable Supreme Being a desire that would set the stage for a cosmic event that would forever change the course of their existence. This divine drama continues with an unexpected turn of events. The story takes a twist with the creation of the material world. Our tale now turns to Sophia, one of the divine entities or eons in the spiritual realm, the Pleroma. Overcome by a desire to understand the unknowable father, Sophia falls from grace, leading to her exile from the Pleroma. In her distress and isolation, she inadvertently gives birth to a flawed entity, the Demiurge, who is blind to the spiritual world. Ignorant of his origins, the Demiurge believes himself to be the sole god and creator, and he goes on to craft the material universe, a flawed reflection of the Pleroma. This is where the Gnostic concept of dualism comes into play in Valentinian Gnosticism, the spiritual and material worlds are seen as opposites. The spiritual realm is viewed as perfect and divine, while the material world is considered flawed and corrupt, a mere imitation of the divine pleroma. But there's a glimmer of hope. Sophia's fall also leads to the scattering of divine sparks, or pneuma, within certain humans. These bearers of the divine spark are the spiritual humans who, through gnosis or knowledge, have the potential to return to the pleroma and achieve spiritual redemption. Thus, the mythology of Valentinian Gnosticism is a tale of cosmic drama and spiritual redemption. Valentinian Gnosticism, with its intricate mythology, offers a unique perspective on the divine. This belief system, born in the second century, illuminates the concept of divine fullness, a spiritual realm inhabited by divine beings known as eons. It introduces us to the Demiurge, a lesser god who created the material world the path to redemption, according to this school of thought, is through acquiring divine knowledge. So, what do you think about this fascinating branch of Gnosticism? 
Let's continue the conversation in the comments below.